this map is awesome. I like it. It's laid out nice. Lots of small fields. And this is going to be my new Let's Play. I think I'm going to kill off that hog farm series. I just personally couldn't get into it. And if I can't get into it, then I'm not going to make a good video. And I should have noticed that beforehand and not after I got a couple episodes in. And I really shouldn't have even put out that last episode I did because I didn't put effort into it. And you need to put effort into it to get a good product out of it. So, I was, I did have a great, a really great intro planned because there's still a bunch of snow on the ground. When I was doing my audio check just before I started recording, the snow went away. So, I guess you can see my fields now. So, that's great. But let's do a little equipment tour. This is the map. Was nice. Was nice. Something nice. And it is a nice map. Lots of detail. There was, uh, when there's snow on the ground, there's a snowman that pops up in this corner over here. And in a lot of the small little places, the bushes disappear, the tomatoes disappear, and a snowman appears. So that's, that's really cool. I do have a montage of pushing snow, so I'll put that in at some point. So I guess you could call this... I, I, to be honest with you guys, I love the big American style gameplay. It's just, I don't know how to record one and do it as a series very well. So this is going to be another smaller equipment style. It's going to be completely different than the small farm series, hopefully. You've got this nice, beautiful John Deere 6900. Nice. We've got a rolling trailer, roll rock. We've got a mower. Got a telehandler, got a loading wagon, that's the words, yes. Nice small wind rower. Not sure why we even have grass equipment. Um, we don't have any animals, but it's always nice to have. We've got a header, bean header, little trailer. We've got our mega dominator class combine, class, class, whatever you want to call it. Small cedar, small planter. Couldn't find another good plow, so I had to use the same one from the Small Farm series, which kind of sucks, but it's a really good plow. I like it. Nice horsepower requirement, 130 horsepower required. And that's how much horsepower our tractor has. Our telehandler actually has 10 more horsepower than the tractor has, but uh, we won't say anything. That's just between you and me. Got a small fertilizer spreader, a sprayer for herbicide, and uh, a lime spreader. Small co cultivator, the front loader gear for the uh, tractor, including a plow since we are playing with seasons. This is our little house. We have a nice garden shed by OK Use Mods. I just posted that on the in game mod hub. That's his second mod ever to be put on the in-game mod hub, so shout out to him. If you play on PC, he's got tons of mods, good quality mods for you, over on the mod network. So back here behind the shed, we've got a small corn header for our harvester. We've got a bucket, which is sitting on some snow, and a pallet fork for our telehandler. Oh wait, and some more front loader gear anything you'd expect to see. We also got a small silo here. Nice folding animation on that. We have 120,000 liter capacity in that silo, so that should be good for all of our needs. We just run over into the tractor, which still has snow on its tires from pushing the snow earlier. Not sure how long this mod's been out on the in-game mod hub, but it's a nice tractor. Got a beautiful sound to it. Hopefully the audio level of the tractor isn't too loud. But we'll come down and take a look at our fields. I'll open up the map for this. As you can see, the big rectangle or the big square is a standard 2x map. So this map's pretty well a 1x, give or take. So we've got one field here. 
field two and field three. We also own half of this grass strip. So field 78 we own. We do not own 77. I think that costs 10 grand if we want to expand that in the future. So 78, 81, 80, and 79. We also own a field across the road. It's one long strip field. Field 100. Make sure there's no cars coming. There is traffic on this map and the roads aren't that wide so you really got to watch out for them. I think this is our field right here. So if we take a look at our map here, we do own field 45 but we don't own field 45. That's because there is a farm shop there and we needed access to put the placeable there and we can't technically sell it because we now have a placeable there. We might incorporate that into a storyline aspect later on down the road, but as of right now, we're just not going to use it. There's a lot of these little goat paths down the in the map, which is nice. Helps uh, cut across, cut through some things. We do own this foresty area and this chicken pen here, which is also in the forest. We might uh, we might cut down some wood come winter to make a bit more room for our chickens. We're just gonna head over to the shop there. Normally I would cut out the drive time, but since it is a nice new beautiful map, I'm just gonna zoom out, let you guys take it in. That's kind of like a first look. Lots of small, you not so much unique uh, uniquely shaped fields. There is a few square and rectangular fields, but there is also a couple, a small handful of oddly shaped fields. This is a store. The store owns a forklift because why wouldn't they? The animal, animal, oh, words hard. The animal dealer is right there as well, where the cows are. I guess we might have to get a uh, Deutsche Fahr later on in the series since the dealership has a couple parked there. So now we're heading back towards our farm. I'm not sure where that trail goes. We might as well go down and see. I'm exploring right along with you guys. So this is a new experience for both you and I. And uh, I guess it just ends right here. It's just access for those fields. Good to know. Let me just cut through the neighbor's fields. They won't mind. It's not like I'm ruining their crop or anything. So the season days are set to three days per season right now. That might get bumped up uh, since the fields are so small and we only have like five of them. I figured we can get everything done in a fairly timely fashion. Once I'm done with this uh, drive around, I will skip through time into uh, early spring. So day one, early spring. So we can uh, get some work done in the fields, get a bit of progress. This map is beautiful for seasons because all the water and the ditches freeze um, in the winter. The snowman up here, like it's just, this map is meant to be played with seasons. Traffic is a little slow, but that's to be expected. So this is the farm shop that I was talking about as I just cream into that fence. As you can see, I was pushing the snow. Got that cleared for the farm shop. Since it is winter, they are closed. There's nothing in there. We might be able to get some uh, produce in there at a later date. This is a small map. There is no two ways to go about it. And uh, even medium-sized tractors are big in some areas, but it is nice because when you go down, you cut through. Oh, no. Oh, no. So what, what was I just saying about medium-sized tractors are even big? And 
I was driving on my side of the road, but I got hammered by an oncoming car and flipped my tractor over. Oh, oh, thank you, passerby. I was going to cut that, but that was kind of funny. So, yes, what I was saying, medium tractors are fairly large on this map as well, which is nice because when you go down the tracks in between the buildings and other fields, it gives you a real, like, homey vibe. Like, it feels like a decent-sized map when you're in it. But you and I both know from looking at the map, it's not that big of a... Not that big of a map itself. I'm saying map a lot. Map's a funny word. M-A-P. Map. Have you ever said a word just a little too often and you start really thinking about the word and it doesn't make sense anymore? Like, how did someone come up with that name for a certain object? anyways like who came up with pudding and decide to name it pudding these are the thoughts that kept me separated from the other kids in school good old George Carlin but anyways that concludes the first look equipment tour and I will see you when it is uh, spring Eight o'clock in the morning, 8.06. And I think it's time that we go and get some of our fields plowed. Let's just take a look to see what they need. Field 79 needs plowing. 80 and 81 needs lime. 81 and 78 are fertilized to 66%. So that's good. It's actually only the one field that needs to be plowed. So that makes that job easier. And spreading lime should be done quickly too. So I think that's what we're going to do today. And uh, we'll probably try to get something planted in the next episode. Hmm. I wonder what tractor to use. We have so many tractors to choose from. I just have no idea which one we'll use. I mean, I could easily use the telehandler there, but uh, I think I will pass on that for now. At least in this series, we'll have a John Deere plow on the back of a John Deere tractor. I do have a increased fuel usage mod active with a high fuel setting or default fuel setting enabled. So that will uh, that will cause us to burn through some more fuel than what you might be used to seeing. I do just want to double check that this is doing something. Oh, this field's going to need lime too. Okay, so all these fields need lime. I can already see that this corner is going to be a royal pain. Some nice tight fields. And if you bugger it up you're going in the drink so that's something to uh, definitely look forward to for future because I know myself I'm not as precise or I will look away from the screen and I will end up in the drink I would put money on that happening and not by my own doing for content it'll probably just end up happening so let's get these headlands done. I know you're supposed to do the headlands last, but it just makes it easier for me to judge how far I need to go. I'll probably need to do a couple of strips down along the backside there, just so I don't initially go right into the drink, which would be wonderful. We do have GPS set up on these tractors as well. And the tractor and the combine. I really do like GPS, especially for recording video. It just makes it a little bit easier. Um, I also, of course, play an auto drive. I don't have an auto drive course set up on this map, especially since it being so small. I don't really think we'll need it. Well, you won't have massive million liter harvests 
to uh, sell all at once. So we'll probably just do all the carding ourselves, And I will only end up using course play for recording purposes. So I'm not going to pay the course play worker if I am going to use a worker for doing something other than recording purposes, I will pay them. Um, however, these fields are very small, so I highly doubt I would ever need to set up a course play worker. Plus, we only own one tractor. So what would I do if I set my own uh, worker off in the only tractor we have? What's he gonna do? Or what am I gonna do? nothing that's that's what i would do i would take the day off enjoy myself go on a vacation see the bahamas i don't know when i was looking at combines for this series i was uh looking at a couple of different options because i wanted a smaller size combine but i didn't want something so small like a thousand liter to three thousand liter grain tank so I think that one up there has a 6,000 liter tank. But looking at these fields though, I was like, yeah, that's a small combine. Now I'm thinking my small er combine is also going to be a little bit too big. So we'll see how that works out when uh, fall comes around, time to harvest. I think we're going to focus on mainly wheat, barley, uh, maybe some uh, rapeseed or canola as uh, they changed the name because it's not really politically correct apparently so far so good though plowing's working out all right haven't put my tractor in the drink with that said I've only been recording for 20 minutes now and this is the first episode of the series so that's not saying much but I will I'll take the small victories when I can I'll see you guys when the plowing is done. I've only got a couple more strips here. And uh, we gotta go source some lime. We gotta figure out where we can fill up our lime spreader and uh, how much that's gonna cost. So I have custom built this uh, farm. It's not the farm that you originally start with. It's in the same location and I've moved everything around. This building I'm backing into right now is part of the map, but it originally starts over there somewhere. I think, yes, all these buildings can be found on the in-game mod hub, except that one. It might be able to be found on the in-game mod hub, but I got this building when I downloaded the map. I like it, I just don't like the lip. But I like the look of the drive through for the combine and uh, this small little storage area. I just wish that it was flush with the ground. So we need to find a spot for lime. I'm not sure if we, if there is a spot for lime on the map. Probably not. Doesn't look, oh, there's a lime station. Well, let me just eat my words. No idea exactly where it is, but we can figure it out. Might as well put our little beacon light on to let people know that we're coming through. Wonder if the lime station itself is going to be cheaper than getting it in pallets and bringing it in. I wouldn't mind doing the pallet form. That's how we're going to have to bring in our seed and fertilizer anyways. Don't mind me just being a horrible driver. Yes, I know. You don't need to honk. I already know. I've already apologized. Some trash down there in that hole. That's kind of rude. There is a lot of subtle details on this map, which is awesome. Another reason why I like smaller maps is the map creator can spend more time in each area because there's less of it to have to go over and try to make perfect. They can fit more detail in the smaller area than they could if it was a massive area. 
So, I can't say. I know I have been down here. I'm assuming this pile of stuff over here would be the lime area. Yep, I would be correct. About $210 per thousand liters, roughly. Man, this thing holds 3,200 liters. Not sure if that will be enough to get everything done that we need, but uh, it's definitely a good start. I really like these fields out back for the fact that you have to drive through the farm to get to it. I've always liked that setup. Oh, I gotta unfold it. What unfolds? Oh, oh that's neat. That's neat. If you can't tell, I've never used this before. Oh yeah, that's a good working width. Nice. We'll hammer through these fields in no time. And we're not going through it that quickly either, which is awesome. Almost went down the drink there, but I caught myself. I like the fact that there's a dead, delimbed tree sitting right there. You don't normally see that kind of stuff. Sometimes you'll see some deadfall. Or some uh, freestanding dead trees. But not ones that have been partially cut down already. So that's unique, I think. Unless I've just never played a map that has those in it. But stuff like that that would... That really gets me into a map and a let's play. It's just the small, subtle details. It makes it feel like a real place, even though this is based... Well, it's a completely fictional area. I'm not sure if it is loosely based on an area. I haven't talked to the map maker. I haven't watched any other videos on this uh, map. I saw it come up in the mod hub. I was like, huh, download that. Downloaded it. Zipped around it for a short little while. I was like, I really like this. So then I set this up. Oh, and of course we missed that little bit there. Just not quite wide enough. That's how it normally works. So I was thinking about starting this map with precision farming. But I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I'm planning on eventually implementing precision farming on the small farm series on Sasnovka. Sasnovka. There's a reason why you've never heard me say the name in one of my videos is because I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, we're just going to get this liming hammered out. We've got this field to do and that field, I think. And that should be it for liming for this year, which will be awesome. Might as well just run down this field now. Yeah, that field needs lime too. This field's kind of nice because it's longer. It's straighter, kind of like the field across the street. A little less technical. So that's all the liming done for this year, which is nice. Didn't even use half of 
our tank by the looks of it. Obviously, I don't know the exact number because I can't see my HUD, and neither can you, because that was turned off for the last little bit of the time lapse there. But uh, we can definitely take a guess. Let me know how much lime do you think is left in that lime spreader down below in the comments. It holds 3,200 liters. And we limed 70, 79, 80, and 81. So lime three fields, 3,200 liters. How many liters do you think is left? Closest comment to the actual answer wins a shout out to my 20 subscribers that I have. It's a massive prize, I know. It's not going to let you retire off of, but it's darn close. Anyways, guys, that is episode one of Woe's Nice, Was Nice, Woe's Nice. The little hat on the S makes it some other pronunciation, I think. Uh, please, if you know the correct way to pronounce that, try to like spell it out in the comments. I really should just type that in to Google Translate and listen to it 16 times to try to figure it out. So with all that said and done, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.